Ted Politics back again, baby man. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff, man. And if you want to learn anything about financial services or maybe cash flow quadrant, anything of that nature, get in contact with me, man. We'll talk to my financial service provider, man. He going to get you set up to where you live in life to the fullest, not worried about the future because you know it's great. Regardless if you hear here or gone, you know that everything will be going the way you want it to go. Um, but without further ado, this video is about how Netflix, Netflix, I'm saying that shit so wrong, Netflix series is trying to expose, well, a Netflix series is, is being exposed for trying to groom kids or grooming children, basically. So, they basically trying to, you know, teach kids about pride. Let's get into see that shit. Now, honestly speaking, this is something that I am very passionate about okay now you guys know that i take the time to literally expose and uncover the truth behind the grooming techniques that the media uses how all of these younger generations are being influenced by entertainment whether it's music tv shows movies all forms of entertainment have literally been exposed for grooming the younger generation when i say That's grooming the younger generation i don't mean in reference to like bill cosby for example or jeffrey epstein where they took advantage of kids or minors I more so mean the implementation of certain ideologies using these forms of media, using TV shows and cartoons for younger kids and music for adolescent ages to actually get these thoughts implanted into their mind. Now, people don't realize how this technique, how impactful this technique actually is and how that causes an evolution, sometimes for good and sometimes for bad. But I want to take time to address this topic right here because I literally just came across a clip of a Netflix series under the Netflix for Kids section of Netflix, okay? Give me one to two weeks and I'll show you how you can start your own successful Where it apparently has a mummy character who has two fathers and a buffalo who claims he is non-binary. Now these are very, very interesting topics to be feeding to minors. And when I say minors, I literally mean children. Now the show is called Ridley Jones. And if you look at the rating for the TV show, it is rated TVY. You guys know some movies are rated PG-13, some, some movies are rated R, etc, etc. This is rated TVY. Now I want you guys to hear and see what TVY rating actually means. These are programs that are aimed at a very young audience ranging from the ages of 2 to 6. I want you guys to hear the choice of words. Aimed. This is targeted. It's almost like you aim a weapon. You know what I mean? You aim an insult. These are programs literally aimed. Programs literally aimed at kids from the ages of 2 to to six. Now I'm going to play the clip from this cartoon that caught my attention. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. The last time I saw my grandma, I used a different name and pronouns. Now grandma doesn't know I've changed. She still thinks I'm her granddaughter. My heart says to go by the name Fred. That's because I'm no binary. Calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. And I also use they and them. Oh, I'm sorry, I used the wrong name and pronouns. Now, this is insane to me because. Straight up and down, my daughter and my son, future son, hell, even kids that I babysit ain't watching that shit, bro. The fuck you mean, bro? You let him talk. They give their child a tablet or an iPhone or a computer to just go relax, watch some Netflix, some educational programs that might really have more powerful lessons behind it but instead of watching a uh, innocent educational program these kids are actually being fed to question their own identity bro their own sexuality now i'm gonna play the clip again but i really want you guys to pay attention to what's being discussed in this show that is aimed for two to six year olds bro last time i saw my grandma i used a different listen to this it's aimed at two to six year olds bro you understand so clearly they know that from the age of two to six a child is able to articulate and comprehend certain things of that nature for the reason why i don't think kids should start school until middle school personally name and pronouns now grandma doesn't know i've changed she still thinks i'm her granddaughter my heart so this is a female 
bison or buffalo or cattle, whatever you want to consider it, who apparently doesn't feel like she's a female. She feels like she's a male and chooses to identify as Fred. So she now goes to her grandmother bison or buffalo or whatever you want to call it and says that she decides to go by the name of Fred and her pronouns or its pronouns are they and them. Something that a child at two to six year old has no idea about. They don't even understand. And the reason why this is so dangerous is because these are the ideas that are being forced upon kids. Rather than allowing an open discussion, rather than allowing a child to feel some type of way, it's almost prompting the question of, do I feel like a boy or do I feel like a girl? It's right, y'all set y'all throwing them the alley oop to that shit, man. That ain't right. Almost prompting a high level of confusion within their own sexuality at a very, very young age, which is why so many people grow up with gender dysphoria. But let's continue. You go by the name Fred. That's because I'm not binary. Calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. And I also use they and them. Oh, I'm sorry, I used the wrong name and pronouns. And this is and this is content being fed to two to six year olds, which I find insane. Now, if you guys aren't aware of what gender dysphoria is, gender dysphoria is a term that describes a sense of unease that a person may have because of a mismatch between their biological sex and their gender identity. This sense of unease or dissatisfaction may be so intense it can lead to depression, anxiety, and have harmful impact on daily life. Now, my question is, why in the world would anyone want to impose this ideology, <laughs> impose this confused mentality onto a young generation? <laughs> oh, shit. Why in the world would they have a television program on Netflix encouraging children to question to question their own biological makeup. This is very, very concerning. Now we're gonna be looking at some statistics and some data that backs reason for concern. Now, according to the Diagnostic and Statistic Manual of Mental Disorders, the fifth edition, gender dysphoria is prevalent for about 0.005 to 0.014% of the population of biological males, and 0.002 and 0.003 for biological females. Which means that at most, it's 0.017% of the population who experiences gender dysphoria. So now, if you're saying that this television program was to promote awareness for this issue, there's only 0.017 of the entire population who actually experience this issue. So it's not a matter of bringing awareness. It's a matter of imposing at this point. Because only 0.017 of the population actually experiences it, which is a complete anomaly. Now let's continue. I also found it very interesting that for a television show. Y'all know what time it is, and it's commercial time. If you need any assistance, financial services department, remember what I told you, holla at me, me and my coach, me and my agent coach, whatever you want to call him. I call him my coach sometimes, I call him my agent, sometimes he's just my provider. But he go teach you all about four ways to earn income and we go go from there, man. Um, as far as everything else goes, you know about the merch. Um, let me show you the merch, you know. Check out the merch. T Politics Official T-shirt. And we gonna go from there, man. Let's get back into the show, man. Finna get into it. Show, that's TVY, and that is aimed at very young audience from the ages of two to six. Also aligns with the age range in which gender identity and the recognition of their sexuality begins. It says that the gender dysphoria age of onset can vary. Children who later develop gender dysphoria may display gender crossing behaviors between the ages of two and four. Gender identity and recognition typically begin between those ages as well. They're forcing their children to be confused in this cross identity between men and women, between a boy and girl at a very, very young age. And oftentimes that leads to a lot of mental trauma as they grow up, a lot of confusion, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, not knowing what they are or who they are, which is the basis and the definition of this entire conversation. <laughs> Gender dysphoria. dysphoria. So I want to continue. And that's just the fact that motherfuckers really they can't identify who they dysphoria. is because they're confused because they right confused. Been a common con that's the problem. they only confused because y'all making them confused. Like, they born knowing what the fuck they is. But it ain't until you trying to 
fuck with their mind and make them think that it's possible that they could be something else. Like, no, you are a boy. You are a girl. That is it. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know this. You knew this when you was born. Stop playing. Consensus among researchers that the following factors influence gender dysphoria the most, which are genetic influences, mm -hmm. which obviously there are anomalies and there are situations in which people are born intersex and they have an extra chromosome or, you know, a man or a woman may be born without visible genitalia. They're not able to decipher whether it is a boy or a girl. That's an intersex situation. And yes, those are anomalies. Very, very I about to say that shit rare, rare as fuck if you know what an anomaly is. That shit is rare as fuck. Very small percentage. That does deserve uh, awareness, but at the same time, putting in a child television show, right. I feel like it's a little bit inappropriate. No, Secondly, no. hormonal. It's more than a little bit inappropriate. It's definitely inappropriate because that's an anomaly. That's something that's very rare. Like that shit is rare as fuck. Like, and I honestly think that happened because something happened. Like, like, like for instance, let's say a woman was getting abused throughout her pregnancy, and now something wrong with the child. Of course, something finna be wrong with the child if this woman was getting her ass beat the whole pregnancy. Like nobody was saying nothing about that abusive husband, but now the child come out retarded or some shit, and now everybody wanna look and think that it's just like ain't like ain't nothing happened from that shit. No, that woman was getting her ass beat that whole pregnancy. Y'all knew she was getting beat. Y'all knew that that man was abusing her physically, mentally, emotionally, and now the child. It's the result of that shit. He was acting fucking retarded and spazzing on her. Guess what? They got a child that's fucked up because of that. Like, and that's how that shit go, bro. I'm gonna fuck with nobody say that's literally how you get fucked up kids. I I believe that. I believe that kids come out based on the way they mama was treated during pregnancy. So if you got a man dogging a woman, like dogging her, like treat her like shit and things of that nature, what you think the kid gonna come out looking like? You know what I'm saying? It's going to come out looking like a reflection of, you know what I mean? Anyways, bro. Hormonal factors. There are women who produce extra testosterone, which is why some women grow facial hair. Some women grow sideburns or long arm hair or long leg hair. And there are some men who produce extra estrogen, which is why some men have, you know what I'm saying, gelatinous titties. You know what I mean? They have a little bit of extra stuff on top because they may produce a little bit extra uh, estrogen. And then we have environmental factors, which is exactly... And he ain't lying about that, because my girl got some hairy ass arms. But my girl Puerto Rican, though. I know that probably ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but... Like, Spanish people be hairy, bro. Like, when I went to school, Mexicans and shit, the Mexicans, they had hella hair on their arms and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, certain races and shit, they be hairy for whatever reason. But my girl got, a, my girl arms hairy as fuck, but I don't... I don't know. I don't even notice it like that, honestly. I mean, I know it's there, but, like, it ain't nothing that, like, make me not want her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, it's to the point now where it's like, I done got so used to it, it's like, I have to literally sit and think the fact that she got an arm here. You know what I'm saying? But she used to be insecure about it, I'm pretty sure of it, but, I mean, of course she grew out of it because it's like, that shit don't matter, bro. You see, my girl fucking fine, dog. Like, I don't know, like... I can't get enough of her. I'm sorry. Exactly what we're <laughs> discussing in today's video, which are the things that we want. I know that shit make it sound like, damn, that boy is simp. No, because like the way I feel about her, she feel the same way back about me. That's why I'm able to express this shit so freely because I know it's reciprocated. If she wasn't feeling this way about me, I would not be expressing myself like this. <laughs> we watch, the things that we see, the people around us, the cultural changes as mentioned right here, the things that we actually are observing in our environment are what influence this idea of gender dysphoria. Which brings me back to my original question of this entire conversation. Why in the world would you impose this ideology and bring about this level of confusion for an impressionable mind about their own identity? Now I want you guys to be mindful. When you guys went to health class, you went to health class, you learned. Another commercial break. He ain't speaking but nothing but straight facts, y'all. Y'all know he's telling the truth. But if you need any help in the financial services field, hit me up. I'm going to teach you how to make money, save money, and build generation wealth with my professional uh, advisor. Um, now back to the show. <laughs> Sexual education, learning about how to properly engage in physical activity. I think at this point, I'm going to just allow y'all to go finish the video. If y'all want to finish. It's really at the end, but... Y'all do understand that they really trying to indoctrinate our kids into believing that they can be boys if they girls and girls if they boys. Like, they trying to have them thinking that 
They could be fucking anything for real, literally anything, and that's not true, bro. Like, so as parents, we gotta we gotta take our kids back. We gotta take control back of our children. We cannot let this world corrupt our kids. So, with that being said, join the Patreon. It's gonna be in the description. I got a few different packages. The cheapest one gonna be eight dollars. I'm only allowing ten people to get it for eight bucks. After that, every other package gonna be pretty much a limit it's gonna be a limit for every package man so best believe that if you want to get some coaching from your boy meaning that you know you really want to grow in life get some coaching if you don't want to grow in life then just leave me the fuck alone because i'm gonna coach you coach you i'm not finna just halfway coach you i'm finna put it on your ass pause but i'm gonna really make you feel like damn this person really want me to win yes bitch we trying to go for the championship we don't go for nothing less than the championship we going for the ring every time if we fall short bitch we are coming back next year to the ring we're gonna get a ring you understand what i'm saying and that's all i gotta say about that man it's tip politics like subscribe share comment Get in the descriptions, hit me up, and let's get to this cheese, man. Because if y'all don't want it, somebody else do.